It is, but another Yoshi. They're kind of a rising breed out here in MD recently. Martine. Okay, okay, I've heard of this guy. I've heard of this guy. So, Martine rocking the yellow Yoshi, and Guy going with his classic Duck on Dog. So here we go, getting into it. And I expect this one to play out very respectfully early on, unless Guy has these. I didn't know Duck Hunt could walk up off that. Very interesting. Yeah, so early on, I feel like it'll be kind of respectful because neither of them have enough knockback to kind of force each other away. So they're just going to be playing neutral and just trying to get themselves to maybe like 40, 50%. And then they can start, you know, going for the wild, crazy stuff that both these characters are known for. Martin will probably be trying to take out early stops with the forward air, especially since Duck Hunt doesn't have a hitbox on his recovery. But, um... Guy is able to play neutral so well that he might be able to set up so many traps that the percent kind of leads out into his favor. Oh no, and actually Martin saves Guy's life right there. Oh, but that time Martin gets what he's looking for. Zero percent side of Guy, he's down a stock, and Martin's looking pretty healthy right now. And now Guy's starting to kind of divulged from his old game plan a little bit. He was throwing out a lot of projectiles before, but he was like, hey, I might need to go in. And my, right now he might be saying, get me out, get me out. This character is getting blown up. Nice up smash out of shield though. Very fast up for Duck Hunt. He's trying to fish for another one. And that's another unique quality of Yoshi. using the heavy armor on his double jump to kind of sneak through the multi-hit of that up air. But that up smash is going to be enough. 91% on the side of Guy at the moment. Okay, so now Guy getting his own little game going, sets up the stage, and the heavy armor coming to play again. It's like I was saying, the heavy armor comes less effective at higher percent, but at this percent, you really need to make sure that your moves have enough knockback to keep yourself safe. You're going to go air to air against Yoshi. Guy dropping low, though, and Martine not able to get the forward air. Great air dodge by Guy. Guy's still able to stay alive. Slowly starting to nickel and dime Martine away from... Um, looking as healthy as he was before. The can set up behind him. It should fly. No, it flies backwards. And Guy, miscalculating that, gets hit by the up air and loses the stock for it. Eventually, that down air will start to shield poke. So now Guy does have to go on the offensive, which he does beautifully. Sets up the stage with the can. Yoshi eats one to the face and eats three to the face right there with a forward smash. Even game. Guy doing such a good job adapting at the moment, using the can to save his life. Martin maybe starting to get a little bit flustered, starts to swing for fences a little bit early. Every time he's off stage, he's going for a forward air. One of them, just one of them needs to connect. And I like that he keeps going for them, but maybe change up the approach of the angle a little bit more because Guy starting to get hip to it. Good job using the can to cover himself. Martin, though, still able to put some pressure on, but Guy just slowly getting the edge of each of these exchanges. Oh my god, the gunman almost called him out of the double jump. And still in his face, Guy uses his forward smash to try and set it up, but the egg actually puts him in this perfect position for him. That's so dangerous, but luckily for Martin, Guy was in the blast zone of that one. Back throw? No, he hesitated on that. He might have been looking for a different reaction, but Yoshi's up air out of shield seems to be a great get off me option in this matchup. Guy has to give up some save control because the can was exploding. But the movement was still great for him. Martin looking for something, and he might be able to find it with the forward air. Still not quite enough to kill, but Martin dropping deep, hits the can, and everyone's staying alive for just a little bit longer, but everyone's days are numbered. Oh my god, Martin overcommitting a little bit on that forward air. Guy, maybe starting to play a little bit scared. No, he still gets a parry on the egg, still showing that he has the confidence, the courage to bring this back. And the heavy armor again, saving Martin's life. And that's going to be it, a nail-biter of game number one. Martin takes an up smash out of shield. But great game, better adaptation from Guy. So I'm excited to see where this goes. So I'm feeling the game three in the cards, if they can both keep this fire to them right now. This is going to be a good set. So in terms of counterpick, I think... Um, I don't really know. I might like to see Guy pick a stage that's 
I almost want to say it's like a little bit more spread out, but I don't even know if that would particularly help it because Yoshi's egg has an arc that covers a lot of the space that Duck Hunt's projectiles don't. It won't really help in the matchup, I feel. Three, two, but that's where we're going, one, Town City, a go. big old stage so that Guy can attempt to, you know, set up his own game plan and execute it to the best of his ability. But that might be a problem. The can't be stuck on the platform like that means that the first configuration of platforms might be kind of bad for Guy, unless he can keep up with neutral and force uh, Martin to walk into the explosion, as we saw right there. Now Martin just kind of floating away off stage. I like the patience from him. He's not really forcing his way back on the stage too quickly. He's just like, hey, I'm off stage, I'm a floaty character, and I have an egg, and I have a frame free nair. If you come out here and get hit by something, you took that risk. So very cognizant of his own character's strengths and weaknesses. Guy, though, a character specialist, and he's going to be able to make this recovery very easily, getting to that right platform. And now just trying to get Martin up away from him so he can set up the stage for himself again. Oh, great down air. And good aggressive option by Martin again so that he... Um, was kept safe for in case Guy chose to do anything else aggressive, but Guy, I don't even know who he hit him with. Was that forward tilt? But still just barely enough to kill, and Guy gets hit by his own can. Great call with a forward smash. Good idea, but not quite enough in the execution. Now these guys are trying to flounder a little bit for the kill. Great parry, though, and Guy hit, drawing first blood in game number two. Now a lot of damage being racked up on Martin's side, 44%. Even that trade was great for Guy because at this point, if you take a trade, you're still coming out ahead, man. Playing with house money. And even that trade, even though he died for it, that trade wasn't necessarily a bad one. Martin is now at 73% and getting closer to death percent if Guy keeps the pace on these um, forward smashing up smash trades. It's gonna be great at getting. The great call out. He's up tilt to send the can up in the air, Martin. Struggling to find his way back down, and that might be signs of being fluster flustered. Whenever Yoshi throws out that down B to try and get back down the stage quicker, it might be kind of a panic option. He's still hemorrhaging a lot of percent for that one, and I don't know if he touched the ground for the job, but luckily the excellent platforms gets him back. And Martin knows that he needs to go for something right now, and does he get it? Oh, he does get it. Oh, man, we got another tight game for game number two. That save spike was so sudden that I didn't even expect Guy to have to tech there. And now that he might be a little bit flustered from that early shot, he's 33% from a down air. Down air tilt people, man. Down air really does tilt people. But Guy, veteran of the character, staying so composed. And he's still playing the same game plan. He's like, hey, I was winning very hard before, you know, that unfortunate save spike. So if I can just keep doing that, I'm going to be good. It's fine, man. So Guy, all that's left for him is to get the stock. Another smash attack can do it, but Yoshi does have a bit more explosive kill power than Duck Hunt does. Duck Hunt is notorious for having difficulty killing at these higher last stock, last hit percents. And Guy has to play to that. He has to get this last big hit. And actually, at this point, it doesn't even need to be a big hit. I don't know if fourth throw could do it, but he almost has to set up for the back throw into can, which probably would have been it. But the back air, yes, that will be a Game three between Guy and Martin. All right. I like it. I like it. So the big stage counter pick coming through. You know, Town City gave him enough real estate for him to work with and recompose himself whenever Yoshi was coming up to him to hit too many buttons. But the problem with that is now we got game three. It's Martin's counterpick. And it can be pretty dicey. Winning game one can be so huge this early on. All right, so being safe from solo commentary by Parappa. And this is the counterpick I expected to see. Smashville for game three. Right, right. Are we good? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, loud and clear, man. Sick, sick, sick. Game audio is a little bit low. Yeah, on my end, anyway. Yeah, so that. far, yeah, guy's got a commanding lead, but it's shrinking fast. One hit after another from Martin. Both these guys are really solid. How's that been going so far, bro? I kind of miss it. Uh, it's been a nail biter. Every game has been last sock, last hit, and I feel like this is going to be no different at the moment. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I think we're on the track to see that. 
One like like guys been playing Duck Hunt since Smash 4. <laughs> since early Smash 4. Oh wow, he's gonna be able to go under stage though. Oh, but Yoshi oh. can't. Did he get shot? I think one of the bullets might have hit him or something. I don't know, but he somehow messed up his recovery. Yeah, that was very interesting. I think he just over or he just underestimated how low he was gonna go. Yeah, he dropped really deep for that nair and tried to um, double jump, air dodge up, but I think it still wasn't enough. Guy was kind of baiting in the position in there. Yeah. By the way, Guy is going off on that combo 60% right off the bat. And Martin tried to do it right back Ooh. to him, tried in with the double dip. He really dip. wanted it, yeah. Even though they nerf, they actually nerfed Duck Hunt's Frisbee combos. They added more uh, FAF to the, uh, and more in lag to the uh, animation of throwing the Frisbee. But he still get those combos. Got a nice bit of damage, but Martin quickly racking it up. Yeah, I feel like that was one of those changes that like didn't really change much about it. It just made it harder. Yeah, it just need they needlessly nerfed Duck Hunt for absolutely no reason. Yeah, but real ones still able to keep it going. So yeah. Hey, looking at you, Rido. Oh, oh, he almost bit it from that forward air, but he's able to grab the electric directional air dodge. We're off stage. Going to try an edge guard with a can. Likely to catch the jump. Great forward chill right there. Using that move specifically just to hit him out of the heavy armor of the yeah. double jump. Oh, but wow. gets him back with that forward air. And now Martin, even though he's on the last throw of this stock, he still has an advantage. He has to make something of it. Yeah, the would have killed if he had rage, but since he lost the stock and back to 0%, he's going to reset that. And down here goes 28%. He can not do it yet, only adding more damage and increasing the lead of Martin. Ooh, man, just to make it back with the deep air dodge. Yeah, amazing recovery on that. Yeah, trying to use the Sheriff and the Frisbee to get the edge guard, but no dice. Can was still on in, on the field, so he's not able to kick out another one. Now this slowly starts to slip away from the guy. Ooh, yeah, even though he gets straight, yeah, he's still alive. That's a problem that Duck Hunt's had for a long time. That's just a tough time closing out stocks. It's a little bit easier in this game than it was in Smash 4, but yeah, he lived in that 190. It's a bittersweet feeling to take that stock. I mean, sure, you finally got it, but it's so late. Yeah, and if it was the other characters, I'd be like, okay, you can still come back here, but it's Duck Hunt, which it's still possible, but so much harder. Unless oh. that happens! Oh no, that's a rage quit. GG. That's what? He didn't even rage quit. He's just like, oh man, I lost. My guy, you had a jump. Yeah. He No, he didn't have a jump. He fast fell through the ledge. No. Yeah. That's tough. <laughs>